Alrighty, fam. That's the Hoopty Missile Lab. What we do is we take pieces of shit like this, and that, and that, and we have a blast in them. If that's your type of thing, you should probably subscribe to this channel. Because all the early subscribers are allowed to come hang. And now we're going back to my life at 2,000 frames per second. So, I'm going to try to clean this thing up. You're going to be way over here because I don't want to get anything on the camera. So, see you back here in a minute. Alright, so par for the course. I look over and the camera's dead. We got a pretty decent uh, weight reduction going on here. We still got a lot of junk. We're going to make a fire. With the stuff. And then, you know I'm going to have to drill that bitch out. I know I have to drill it out. I don't even know why I'm playing. So freaking disgusting. I want to get this wind, uh, this mirror back on there. But it doesn't look half bad, honestly, once you get... There's a lot of Shebas down here. We're going to collect all the Shebas. And I'm, God, I'm praying that there's an access port. It just definitely doesn't look like it. There's a mouse hole that goes through the car. So we're going to let this thing air out because I'm getting lightheaded being in there. I might do a little... I don't know. You think I should sand it or just leave it how it is? I did clean off the other window. That's the whole... That's the bag of garbage that we got out of there. So we got all that out of there. That bag and all these parts. And now we're gonna go throw that away and put this in the garage. And I'm gonna stop talking now and probably take the wheel off. Bye bye. All right. So here's where we stand on this turd. She's a little bit cleaner than she was. Doesn't smell quite as bad as it did found a lot of parts one major thing that i'm pretty pretty much the main thing i was looking for in this cleanup is this right here even though i guess i could have just found this online it's gonna make it so much easier just having it just having it get in there all right that's huge we're gonna call this a night probably take the airbag out should I take the airbags out? I don't know. Oh, I just touched the headrest. That's disgusting. Ay, ay, ay. Did nothing with that. That'll be for next time. Because I don't feel like messing with this thing anymore. I was hoping to fire up. I was just going to get it to fire up prior to pulling the tank. But I think I might just buy the cheapest fuel pump. And get my hands on, wire it up, slap it in there and see if it helps. And then maybe some green paint. I don't know. Something to make this thing look presentable. Peace. Love. I'm out. To the streets.